Hello to everyone from Matein's side of the mountain. Long-time viewers will know, this is me, Johannes, his neighbor to the south. In 2021, Kirsten Dirksen visited these parts and did a video on my place. I suggested on the occasion that she also visit my new neighbor, some Dutch guy who had just started fixing up a hut. Her video brought the first substantial increase to Martijn's viewership and might even be the very reason some of you started watching his beautiful vlogs before the algorithm kicked in and deservedly made him famous. I now want to welcome you to this side of the mountain, at least for a few weeks. For I'm not starting a new building or restoration channel and seeing how Martijn artfully documents his life and witnessing his admirable dedication to craftsmanship it would also destroy all hope to deliver nearly as great content. I'm only releasing a limited run of 12 episodes. And I do this to fulfill the promise I had made when I saw the, for me, quite surprising reaction of Kirsten's audience to my life. A second reason was added when in later similar interviews some viewers were disappointed that the shorter format necessarily truncated conversations or thoughts. Then came 2023, and it proved to be a good year for filming these episodes, because this past year I actually had a chance to be here at least sometime every month. Perfect to tell the story of one year in the life of a part-time hermit. So what can you expect? Well, as I said, it won't be as awe-inspiring as what Martin offers you, but I hope you can still enjoy the quiet pursuit of projects around the house and the garden over the course of a year, as well as the flashbacks to when I bought and restored the place. I'd first explored videography with long takes and nothing but original audio in my 2015 film To Where God Dwells, inspired by the amazing documentary Into Great Silence on the life of Cartesian monks that had won awards a decade earlier. Some loved my quiet film and others just found it incredibly boring. That is fair, and the letter might not stick around to the end of these 12 episodes either. But if you decide to stick around, you will get to the part of the video that was in the end the real reason I decided to dedicate some time to this long project. The last 10 minutes or so of each video contain thoughts and reflections on the world, on history, on faith. The first half hour I see as a preparation for quieting the mind and finding an interior space for thoughts. Some, or so I hope, will find those last minutes the most rewarding. To me, they are indeed the most important, even if they are certainly not pinnacles of wisdom. They are an invitation. An invitation to take up a question and think for yourself. But should you not care for the ramblings of a priest, I put them at the end also so that those who just wanted to watch a bearded man do stuff can end things when the monologue begins. Now, why have I chosen to upload this series to my old dormant channel, risking to upset my old subscriber base that came here for catechetical content in 10 languages? For a simple reason. I have control over advertising on this channel. This means I can keep the videos ad-free. I don't need income as badly as I want these videos to be free of interruptions. I only plan on keeping the pre-roll ads, not because they are going to make me a total of maybe $10 over the years, but because I suspect that YouTube doesn't feature videos much if it cannot make any money. New videos will be released until March 10th, every Sunday at 5 p.m. Central European Time, which is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Or, if you live down under, in the wee hours of Monday morning. All right, so much for the YouTube side. Now, because I'm already done with the complete series, you have a second option. I've uploaded all 12 episodes, so you don't have to wait for the weekly releases. You can watch or even binge them, which I don't recommend, right now. The cost is $1 for each episode in a bundle of all 12 episodes. And there is more. 
Maybe you remember that Martin came to my garden to harvest tomatoes in the summer of 2022. He explained that I was working on a book. I was. And for that book, I walked 4,000 miles from Ireland to Italy, following in the footsteps of the Irish monks of some 1,400 years ago. The book has already come out in German, and I have now finished the translation into English. It is still a little rough around some edges, but that was all I could do in time for Christmas. If you choose to pay for the videos, I will gift you my travel diary, spanning those 124 days on the road. I hope that is a good deal, and it will not only put some pasta on my table, but also go towards helping generously friends of mine who are in the service of the more forgotten people in war-torn Ukraine. So thank you very much if you are able to purchase these videos. That is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the series, can take something from it, and at any rate, have a blessed Christmas and a happy new year.